A new era in electronic design has begun. A fresh generation of electronic designers has evolved and with them come new and exciting ways of approaching electronic design. The whole paradigm of electronics design needs to shift to something which is completely different than what we have now. We are seeing a different breed of engineer coming out. I think we're seeing an engineer that's more aware of a broader part of the design creation spectrum. This is a generation rewired to exist in a fully connected world. The future of electronics engineering is really in the systems engineering space. The current model is based upon an kind of antiquated model where we develop the hardware first and then we push some software onto that afterwards. We need to turn that around and actually focus on what we want the software to do first and then think about what platform we want it to implement that on later. Conventional design methods relying on fixed hardware are fast becoming redundant and a complete rethink as to how we approach electronic design is now necessary. The real opportunity is to be able to spend your engineering resources just on things that differentiate your product. Sustainable differentiation in electronic products is going to come from what we do in the soft domain, not what we do in the hard domain. One of the key trends that we are seeing in the electronics industry is the increasing importance of software. Just about every consumer device you see has some kind of an embedded system on it. It's got a processor, it's got some software, it's got some human interface, it's got some interface to the outside world. The great advantage of doing your development work in the soft domain is that you can easily change it and quickly come up with uh, improvements to your design and innovate in, in, that, in that world. But one of the side benefits of that, and a major benefit from a commercial point of view, is that it's much harder for people to copy the design. These days, a product is more than just the hardware you ship to the customer. More often than not, there's a much wider system that the product connects to. One of the advantages of having a product that's actually connected in the field and is primarily defined in software is that firstly you can download upgrades to the software and secondly the updates can transform the product into something new and better. It really gives you this ability to compete dynamically and to differentiate yourself dynamically. You're not stuck with what rolled out the door the first time you got your product on the market. A smart device that can be reprogrammed in the field with a new set of functions and behaviours will have a much longer lifespan and sustain its value much more than one relying heavily on fixed hardware. Traditional design requires you to lock down your hardware platform first and then the soft intelligence is designed to run on that platform. This not only constrains the soft limitations to the fixed hardware, but it also requires the hardware to be built before you can really start designing the core of your product. Altium have reconfigured and indeed redefined the design equation by arming developers with a design solution that focuses first and foremost on the core functionality of the device. One of the things I think we're doing at Altium is we've really looked at the, um, the problem of how an engineering team can truly create an innovative product in an effective way where they can make big changes but still get the product to market quickly. Rather than taking a problem and partitioning it up into little bits and then solving it and putting those together, you have toolboxes of components that you know will operate reliably and you assemble those into final products. Altium Designer offers the world's leading unified design environment that allows design challenges to be easily attacked from any angle or design discipline fast. When combined with Altium's off-the-shelf reconfigurable hardware development platform, the NanoBoard, the boundaries between software and hardware development dissolve to create the ultimate innovation station. So the innovation station lets people you know, really focus on the intelligence in their product. Now the, the intelligence, the soft stuff that you're putting into the product, that's what's really going to differentiate it. That's really what's going to uh, define what features and capabilities your product has. Here's how it works. You have an idea for a product or device. Then, using your innovation station, you begin developing its intelligence and create its core functionality. Configuring your nano board to suit your design couldn't be easier. Pick and choose from a wide array of programmable options to implement your device intelligence. Plug and play with a wide selection of Altium's off-the-shelf peripheral and daughter board options. Mix and match the hardware present on your nano board with your own customised hardware to suit your requirements. Altium also offer a variety of reconfigurable, totally modular, commercially styled deployment nano board options for your product to go straight to market in many cases eliminating the need to go to manufacture. Or you can use our nano board but house it in your own custom casing. 
Altium Designer makes it easy by providing 3D visualisation of the boards within your imported 3D files. Alternatively, because your requirements may be specific or your manufacturing volume, you can report your design into your very own customised nano board. All the investment you've placed in developing the core IP of your design from the desktop nano board is easily reported, ready for you to customise your design and go to manufacture. When you buy an innovation station for your engineer, you empower him to do that whole job, to move his design into the soft domain, but also to do the experimentation with the hardware products so they can quickly evaluate whether that's a good choice or not a good choice for the design application that you have in mind. Through designing in this way, the exploration and implementation of new ideas and concepts can be introduced at any time during the design process, allowing for an open pipeline for creative ideas and innovation. It's so easy. Within Altium's Innovation Station, designers simply use their existing design skills and build products using libraries of royalty-free components, along with the latest chips and technology. Simple. We are always looking to do things in new ways, and with such a comprehensive, flexible and reconfigurable innovation station, you automatically become connected to the design environment of tomorrow, today.